am so sorry for the delay today, friends. Ooh, I had so much to accomplish this morning. Um, also, my GIF. I hope you guys uh, liked it. For those of you that saw my tweet. Hi! <laughs> Hi, I should put it up on the screen. That's what I should do. Ah! Oh, you guys are so sweet! No! You need an emote of it? Oh, God. I don't know how to do that. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could give it to Alan or somebody that knows how to make a GIF out of that, if you guys really want. Here, let me actually quickly send that to, uh, Alan, and maybe that could happen. If you're okay with that, Alan. If not, don't worry about it, but the people have spoken. <laughs> I didn't think that would be a thing that you guys would want. Hold on. I'm gonna send Alan the raw file that I did. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. There you go, there you go. Oh, don't worry about it, Alan. It doesn't have to be today. <laughs> but anyway, hi, everybody. I'm very, very excited about today. Um, I can get the gif up on this stream. Maybe if I'm good enough at this shit. <laughs> but hi. <laughs> ah! I have, I've, I have like two thoughts that I have to bring up because obviously <laughs> since yesterday my brain has gone on quite a few tangents on like the plot of this game and uh, I wrote down some thoughts. I, I had to write it down, like I had to get it out. Was it literally last minute? No, I had planned this to like to, to film it this morning, but then I had to handle other shit this morning, which caused the stream to be a little bit late, but it was planned for today. Uh, no, 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 no. The whiteboard is staying there. I don't need the whiteboard. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe the whiteboard will be needed for rain code, but I think I'm okay for ghost trick. Like it's a short enough game that I think my brain can handle it. Uh, it's questionable though. Hold on, I can add this to the stream. Image? Or is it like a video? I don't know how to add GIFs. I think, oh, GIFs work, Never mind. okay. I got you guys. Let me just find it. Oh my God, dude, yeah, my brain yesterday absolutely <laughs> went haywire. All right, here you guys go. <laughs> Me on my way. <laughs> Me on my way to today's stream. <laughs> I, I love that little goofy walk so much. I felt like I had to. It was, it was genuinely really funny. So I was like, I want to do that. It's me on my way to the finale today. <laughs> But anyway, all right, should I just jump right into it and like speak on my thoughts on the plot? <laughs> uh. Oh my God, so many demands, so many demands. Panic dance, Cabanero, oh my God. I'll do what I can, that's all I can say. I have only so much time in a day and right now I'm writing scripts for two different videos and I'm editing another one that are like all brand new like content ideas for the channel so it's a kind of a lot on my plate right now <laughs> but i can do that and maybe i'll and maybe i'll do the panic dance i don't know we'll see we'll see uh okay ball of thoughts i have a ball of thoughts um <sighs> I don't even know where to get started. Um, Glass, thank you so much for the four month resub. I appreciate it. Okay, okay. So after yesterday's stream, I had two immediate thoughts, right? So I've had this theory for a while and then Jowd confirmed my theory that Sissel is not Sissel. So naturally in the next line of thinking, which I failed to do during yesterday's stream, but pretty much as soon as I ended the stream, I was like, wait, so if Sissel isn't Sissel, shouldn't we go back to the point where Sissel's name was given to the player and then analyze that moment to see if 
something could be misconstrued. So, we're gonna take a blast in the past right now, okay? Let's take, let's go, let's take a blast to the past. If I can do this right, hold up. <laughs> I have to make sure I have the right thing up. Okay. All right, so we are going to watch me. Uh, hold on, let me mute the game right now. So this is past Crystal. I brought up my past stream to now figure out I where we got it, the name Sissel, right? I was like, okay, this is like a logical line of thinking. So we're just gonna do, wait. Mm, did, yes. Sis no, this isn't cheating to go to back to information target, that we were already given. Man. As you wish, sir. In that case, At least I'm not looking this, shit up. I'm just analyzing the past, okay? All right. So. This is the moment hey, where yes. we are like, okay, I guess I'm mm, Sissel yeah. because this guy says it. Like, this is the only reason that we think our name is Sissel is just purely this dude. And my name, my, my, my face and body being on the screen. Right, right, right. So... <sighs> I'm gonna watch this scene again. I'll be honest, I just like found the point where they've like talked about the name, but I haven't yet analyzed it yet. I wanted to save that for stream. So I just realized my desk is not all up all the way. Okay. So here we go. Oh yeah, the chat is like on top of chat right now, so it, it ignore it's fine. So uh <laughs> anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna go back a little bit more. I don't wish to see Technology is certainly a convenience. And it's also interesting that we haven't been back to these headquarters in a long time, too. But clearly, okay, I can make a few in, um, I can make a few assumptions here right now, though. Here, just to make things better, let me... Oh, no. Wait, no. Uh, I'm messing everything up. Okay, past crystal is up there. Future, future crystal, current crystal is here. How about this? Okay, so we're gonna watch this. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes. So we have not been back to this place since the beginning of the game. There are uh, like there are, is something I can infer about this scene though from the beginning of the game is that they have knowledge of the powers of the dead to begin with because they have a system for getting rid of the phone and closing off connection. I think that that's not... I think that that's purposeful, that they know about the phone line travel, maybe. I'm just going to make that assumption. Because, um, like, it's been closed off the whole game, and I think it's because that they have known about the powers. Uh, and maybe in this moment they didn't know, or maybe in this moment they baited me. It could be either one, on honestly. It could be a bait. So, oops. Apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the they act kind of dumb, dumb though whenever I touch stuff, so maybe I shouldn't make the assumption that they know about the dead. Is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just this is past off. crystal, and past crystal is it. something. Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our tar current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? So he says the current target is Lynn. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. I feel like this is so telling, man. I died? I did not die! So, okay, I think... So this is where we get the name... Mm, yes. Sissel. Maybe Sissel is the name of, like, my arch nemesis manipulating people... Manipulating people's bodies, but was not my initial name from ten years ago. This is what I'm thinking. So, like, from 10 years ago, I have a different name. And since then, they're the manipulator that has come into play uh, with their ghost trick powers of the dead um, have been manipulating my body ever since. Like, it could be something like that. 
If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. So, Sissel... This kind of gives me the impression... Well, I'm just going to keep calling him Sissel for now, but Sissel slash not Sissel, has been working for this group. I think that maybe in meeting Lynn... Wait, no, that can't be the case. Ah, fuck, no! Wait, Lynn was the one manipulated. I kind of forgot about that. So, like, if I'm being manipulated somehow, then Lynn also could... Lynn in that moment was manipulated to shoot me. Shit! No! No! Fuck! Okay, um... That, 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 no! Yes, Cecil. If all goes well with our... There can't be two manipulators! Or maybe there can, but that would be stupid. But, oh, crap. If all goes well with our deal, we have the power to change the world. So, like, it seems like I am a hot target because I am just known as the guy with a meteor in my back. I don't know. And they are just looking for this power that lies within me. Deal tonight. We will have the power to change the world, sir. So that would make... Wouldn't that make the manipulator a good guy in that case? Mm, yes. It's a more important might indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. So yeah, their perception of Sissel could be something completely different. Or it could be a bait. It could be either one. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Yeah, this is weird. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does- Oh, this is driving me nuts. So anyway, I just wanted to revisit that. So now that I revisited that stream, I'm just gonna like note that in the back of my mind. I'm just gonna, it, I, I have a mental note and we're just like, stop there. Uh, okay, uh, let me get you back on game capture. The other thought I had, cause I said I had like two main thoughts from yesterday. So one, I wanted to track down the original source of where we got our name Sissel, which I just did. The second thing that I failed to think of yesterday was, so you know how the incident five years ago that killed Alma played out with the Rube Goldberg machine? The Cupid's arrow had to be manipulated in order for that to happen. Now, what I failed to do was elaborate further on that thought wouldn't that also imply that in the present day, the present day Rube Goldberg machine, that also had to be manipulated to kill Lynn? No? Because that machine is the same as the one from five years ago, from the old house. And that Rube Goldberg machine that Lynn died from in this game at the beginning in the basement of the lab with Mr. Pigeon Man. That machine had to have been manipulated as well at the time. Which begs interesting thoughts. So it makes me think that there are at least two different people that are dead and fighting against each other with their ghost powers outside of me and Missile. Because, like, you have on one hand, Lynn is a target for most groups in this game right now. She's just doing too much. But, like, in the beginning, the manipulator took over Lynn to kill Sissel. But, on the other hand, the and then at that point, the Blue Man group was like working to actively assassinate her. And then in the basement where she died with the Rube Goldberg machine, there needed to be manipulation there in order for her to die. 
So, hmm. Ah! Those are my two thoughts. I just wanted to leave it open that, that I am leaving it up to the possibility that there are not just one dead person with ghost trick powers that is acting as the manipulator, but a second party that is also doing so. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. My brain is already mush and I have barely started today's stream. So I think that we're doing great, honestly. I, I think this is a great way to start the stream with some massive confusion. Uh, Cause yeah, I'm definitely massively confused. Uh, <laughs> I have some theories, I have some answers to some things, but I am still failing to see the overall picture of what in the goddamn fuck is the protagonist. Mr. quote unquote Sissel, not Sissel, but like we're playing as a non Sissel. It's weird. So those are all my thoughts. And I think I my brain is already on fire, which is great. I'm gonna sit. And we're gonna play and enjoy this game. Yeah, let's just dive right into it. Let's just go, all right? Oh, don't even bring up the cat. No, Mita! <laughs> Please don't bring up the cat. I still, my brain still does not remember the first time that we saw the cat, and I did not go back through my VODs to find out where that first cat appearance was, but I feel like I should have, I should have tracked that down. Because we've only seen the cat a whole lot of two times. <laughs> so, uh, fuck me. Damn it. I forgot to look into the cat. But I know the cat is important, so don't at me. Okay. Getting my blanket on. And I am very scared. So we are starting chapter 15, I believe. So here we go. Let's start chapter 15. Who is Sissel? That is the question of the day. Hiya, Crystal. Very Hiya, excited Jay. to see you streaming one of my favorite games ever. It's a Thank doozy. you for the three months. All right, 10 years ago, a man named Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. Tonight, oh, wait, shit, my water. Where's my water? Ah, ah. Water. Okay. <gasps> I'm gonna need that water. I'm gonna need that water so bad. Okay, tonight, a man named, na okay. Uh, uh, tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. What's going on? <gasps> oh! oh my God! Uh -huh. Okay, bro, I didn't see that coming. I'll straight up. What? Uh, I was wondering where my body was. Wait, this is current. This is the current day. I see myself. There you are, Commander Sith, finally. 
Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, okay, so they were working together. Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we've fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. So yeah, Sissel is the person that's manipulating the corpse. Dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. But I know it's always darkest before the dawn. We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir. Lights had been stopped, spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. Whoa! 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 Oh my god, this game, what's going on? Uh -huh. But you can never stop me. See ya, sucker. How is this ghost trick power able to manipulate my corpse? So... Uh... Uh, that submarine uh, guy and his people uh, have a deal going with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the manipulator seems to be a good person from what I just deduced at the beginning of this stream. There's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I better talk to him. The inspector died. Inspector Cabanero died. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Oh boy, still unconscious. I guess he hasn't been dead for very long. I'll just go ahead and go back to the four minutes before his death. I'm a little bit nervous about what I might see there though. Eh, but if that's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. This is a great way to start the stream. Okay, 10.50 a.m. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. It gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. What's the matter? All those broken bones? Smart a bit? What's it feel like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge! Revenge on all the people who stole my life away 10 years ago. But it was a meteor? That's not... what?
Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life. Or have you forgotten? Wrong. I was murdered by all of you. Okay, this is... Sweetie? His hand should be on fire. So you are a corpse? He just doesn't feel pain. <laughs> he doesn't feel anything. Detective Jowd, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn, she was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. Woo! That's the most self-centered centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally, you, Inspector Cavanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. You were so proud of your spotless record, and my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth, me and Detective Jowd. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good, and that's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. He can't die? Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. brain I is he working alone or with somebody? I can't tell if he is doing man the manipulating on top of it or he is working with someone right now cannot tell to wipe out everybody who knew about Temzik Revenge, that's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense! Hey, man! Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella, he's awake. My head's a spinning, baby! I am I to understand that Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me? I guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red information I need. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby! Because there's a very important life here somewhere, a life valuable to this nation. Do your thing, baby! That's a good boy. So, are you a manipulator too? I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead, yeah, but I can't control living creatures. 
I think you'd better be very careful. That guy on red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. You're right. Look at him. There's something, uh, there's that something emanating from his body. Is it really that sign of having special powers of the dead? No, it's just the vibe the meteor gives off. So I can't do anything in front of him. This one is top, uh, this one on top is balanced so precariously. It's a wonder if it didn't, it doesn't fall off. How did the old pigeon guy even reach up here? And if I wonder, and I wonder if he makes his pigeon fetch it for him. I'm like afraid to do anything because I feel like I'm just gonna get called out by Sissel. But like, what power would he have over me? Yeah, like, he's gonna notice anything I do. You're here, aren't you? Me, do you? I don't know why you're wearing my face, but you might as well give up now. I control everything. what you just did you were practically shouting look at me baby it looks like it might be hard to save you under the, these circumstances i guess i can't use my powers right in front of him like that i know uh, i'm so uncomfortable there's nothing i can do though literally what I can't, I can't close the spout lid. I can't swivel the next lamp. I can't turn on, I can't, I can only examine the book and I can't reach the bottom. So I guess I gotta wait. I'm just, oh boy. Let's just see where this goes. I'm gonna see if I can see an opening. Oh, that's it. Ah, shit. That's it. God damn it. Oh, I'm like actually so nervous. Whoa, 
destroyed. What in the world happened here? I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. And now, there's another death lying hidden here. Another death? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? Is it Pigeon Man? I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. It is the Pigeon Man. I was wondering about his involvement. So if I save Pigeon Man, maybe I can save Cabanero. This is some kind of device. Very astute observation. Sorry, my memory isn't working. Eh, mine isn't working too well right now either. I do remember seeing somebody use this equipment though. There's the dead guy. Um, uh, excuse me. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep during work hours. Professor Her, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things, but never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Ah, this is a different guy, and I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death in order to change your fate, that is. Aren't we already in the past, man? Eh, but we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to save the Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. So that's where they took my body. Okay. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor, this place is dangerous? Don't be daft. I can't leave now. He's completely dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of its powers. If I remove it... He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect, it's a spirit. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is so creepy. So you figured it all out, huh? You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So it's really true, you're... I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel, a shell. I control everything, this shell, people. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lynn. This music is really poppin'. <laughs> so it's true, you were manipulating my baby at that, that time? You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence, you know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too, You'll she'll suffer just like Jow did. He knew he would come back to life. Now then, Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't even have any grudge against you. I'm just, I'm even grateful to you. 
Oh, yeah? So why don't you let me live, then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll be all over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow that way, this way. Oh boy. Wait, so that means that th th this Sissel is still here, though. How am I supposed to save his life with... Oh, God. Dynamite, eh? When the devil did that he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him. Having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared? That medical examiner, remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab, but he had already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. Oh, yeah, because Inspector Cabanella was there on that night. He came himself. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's, he's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? Yeah, that's the question I've been asking me. No time for thinking now, baby. Action is the name of the game. Work your magic and take us back even further into the past. He's blue, if he was green, he was die. No, just kidding. Uh, he, no, that's not how it goes. All right, man. Jump in there and stop that explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. Foolish of you to say, too. If you stop the explosion, he'll just do, do, me, do me in some other way. Then jump in there and take care of that man in red, would you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. And most likely impossible to boot. Oh, thank you, Pigeon Man. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. Your best bet is to save me during the explosion without him noticing. Easy enough for you to say, sheesh, what is up with these all these people? Jump in there and do something! What the fuck do you want me to do? Oh, I could just open the door. So his body falls below, maybe? Don't be daft. He's completely dead. I just... I, uh, doing absolutely nothing is also scary, though. I hate waiting. I really hate waiting. <sighs> I'll just monitor what's going on. gonna hold. I 
need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. So he has to look away before I do this, though. I can't do it now. Hey, I know that voice. Help me? Where are you? Find me? Before I'm carried away? What is happening? What's with the frail sound and call for help? He's here somewhere. A little guy that looks a little fragile, but has strength that surprise you. Well, he's asking you to find him. I'm almost out of time. Should I, should I look for him? How do you want me to look for him? How in the fuck? What? I have one second, dude. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you! Okay, here I am, Sissel! Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. I had to wait until the last second, though. Let's talk first. Do you remember how to use my powers? You can swap things that have the same shape. Well, to be precise, I can swap things that look like they have the same shape. As I was being carried in, uh, by the wind and falling into the river, I realized something. If you look at a thing from different angles, it looks different. You know, that's a pretty good point for a little doggy who came in with the sewage. I was just gonna open the hatch, but now I'm just more confused? Ball? How does that help? Let me see what else I can get to. Doesn't look like anything else. Wait, let me see. I go... My god. This is a batshit terrifying scene. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Okay, we can't go up from here, so everything here... Ugh. I'm not seeing what I can swap, though. We still need the explosion to happen because Sissel needs to see the death. We're just trying to... I'm going back to the original door plan. Oh, wait, there's a thought. Let's stop that explosion! Uh, no, we can't do that. Let's take care of that man in red. Uh, no, we can't do that either. We can't do this, we can't do that. What can we do? Uh, we let the explosion happen. Then we rescue the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are the key to all of it, Missile. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. We're talking about a matter of seconds. We can't miss our chance. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. I know I will. So we swap the body then, but what in the hell is the body gonna look like? I... I don't trust this.
Do they give me a second here? No. Oh, okay. They don't give you. Okay, okay. So I have to save you without the other me noticing. And the moment of truth is just as the explosion occurs. We can do it, Sissel! I know we can! The key to success here is the little doggy's powers. Guess I better rewind the clock. Okay. This is like kind of in the way though. Okay. I want to see if there's anything that I can... Oh! Well, that's not exactly going to solve my problem, but um... Oh, there's a... Oh, wait, there's over here too. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Cecil! My animal instincts are starting to surface! If you mean what you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. <laughs> there must be some kind of rat feast in that trash can. Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel a bit like dancing now myself. It's getting harder and harder to hold my wild instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. Are they gonna like move the lid so Cecil can do something? They're not doing anything else besides that. Oh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. second that I was able to swap them. But what does this solve? Whoa. So they change... Okay, so now because it's flipped over... Let me go to, uh, Sizzle. No, I can't. Okay. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. Whoop! Pressed L2 instead. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Wait. I don't know if I should do this now or not. He would notice if I did it now. Maybe he wouldn't notice? He's just gonna fall through. I think I should... I feel like I should wait. This doesn't seem like a logical thing to do right now. I gotta wait, I gotta wait. No, they're not gonna give me a second, are they? Ah. I'm just afraid to do it early because like he would notice. It doesn't make sense. I guess I just gotta do it. Or at least we know what to do now, but... Or at least I think I do. Just weird.
Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. these rats. Alright, I'm just gonna do it, but this seems dumb. Wait, maybe I should actually wait until the very last second, though. I think we're on second number two. Oh, there. There is zero. How does he not see that? can't move. I think I have like four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. No, oh, the pigeon. It's okay, pigeon. He's alive. I can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off! Sorry, Inspector Cabanella, I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, poor, broken heap of arms and legs. No matter, I enjoyed the show! The magic disappearing act, that is! Nothing like it, baby! Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one who managed to vanish without a trace. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead, not that you aren't. I was just remembering how that fact right about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. Excuse me, mister! You really shouldn't be mean like that! And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Uh, he would be if he was actually still full of life. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing. That poor little girl taken hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait a minute! Wait just a minute! Miss Camilla is a hostage? We're sorry, little warrior. Miss Camilla? A hostage? What's a hostage? <laughs> anyway, Inspector Cavanella. It's time to save your life now. <laughs> But you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? But this time it's different, right, Sissel? With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. All right, let's get started. Inspector Cabanella is upstairs, so our first step is to get up there. Cecil, I'll go up first and wait for you. Okay, lovey dove, we need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. The pigeon. The homie! The pigeon, the homie! You've got grit, little pigeon. I'd better get up there before the little pigeon's strength gives out. Missile's waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Oh, no! I wasn't quick enough. The pigeon's falling. Okay, never mind. There you are, 
sizzle. Sorry for the wait, missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will get killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? Uh, there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and then save Cavanella without him noticing. Um, this doesn't seem plausible. Phew, it's even worse than last time. Jump in there and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sissel. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just tap R2. Fully check my surroundings here. Mm. There's nothing I can do right now. So Sissel only has this kind of power. And as of right now... I don't even see anything that could be swapped. Oh. He gets shot, doesn't he? Cabanella shoots him and he shoots back. That might be my cue to do something. love this music. Oh, did you see that? That bad sizzle turned around. Do you have to call him that? But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. This is the only time he takes his eyes off of me, too. If you have something to do, do it now. Time to take the first steps towards saving the inspector. Do like, you think I know what I'm fucking doing? Bitch, I do not. We need to get up, I think. So we need to swivel? Just to create a path? If I drop the helmet on the ground, I'm also not sure what that does. But I also don't feel like I should. He's gonna notice that. I'm doing it anyway. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's gonna look at me again. 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 Don't look at me! 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 fourth wall break so bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that makes me so uncomfortable. <sighs> Alright, take two. We can do this. You think it's cool? No, it's terrifying! That ain't cool! <gasps> you bring up a good point. In order to solve a case against the mighty sunglasses of Sissel, I must match with my own 
mighty sunglasses. Of course! With the power of the meme glasses and the power of the kitty cat hat! I'm unstoppable! Let's go. I ain't fucking around anymore. Should I still drop the helmet? Maybe, maybe not. Let's just not do that. I can't stop time there. Fuck. But the ladder is closer than it was before. And it's behind him, too. Okay, I might be able to do something there. Yikes! I'm a little scared right now. Why didn't he die? <laughs> Missile's like, I just saw that guy get shot, and he's not dead. <laughs> because he's already dead. He, did. he died 10 years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Why did you go through the trouble of shooting him at all? Time's almost up. That, that's enough chip chat. But now the situation has changed slightly. These last split seconds are our chance. Oh, Jesus. So now I should be able to move this and be safe. But what's the point? this thing it looks like a giant nail clipper it most certainly does not it's an instru instrument used in analyzing radiated radiation emitting matter oh <clears throat> yes i see uh, you're not alone kid none of the rest of us understand it either baby yeah you said it <laughs> the dialogue is great i'm going for it old pictures of what look like little fragments of rock those are temzik fragments there's an article from back when it was big news Ten years ago, nobody really understood it. I guess that's still true today. I don't know what to do! All I know is panicking. I know how to panic, that's about it. What is this going to do? All right, let's get off of missile. See if I can do anything with Sissel. Yeah, no. I don't think so. So the shape changed again. My sunglasses make it hard to see. I don't know how Sissel does this. So the shape of the hat keeps changing. no idea what to fucking do. If I rock the helmet, it's just gonna tip him off. Is that something I should have done beforehand? That is something I could try. Let's talk to the dog. 
So, Sissel, could you explain something to me? Exactly how did the man in white die? He got shot with a gun. Gun? Huh. I've always wondered about those things. How could people die when they hear that loud bang? Uh, oh, uh, why do they? <laughs> I don't remember! Oh, brother. I hope I never lose my memory. Mr. Whitecoat here died because he got shot with a bullet. A bullet? A little lump of metal. It proves fatal when it gets lodged in his head. Aha! Uh -huh, I get it. It's like a little tiny Mino, right? Uh, something like that, I guess. A different shape, though. In that case, I ought to be able to use my powers on it to save the man in white. Eh, good news, eh, white coat? Can't anybody here just call me Cabanella? So they want me to redirect the bullet? I replace the bullet with something? Y'all are nuts! Like, you're actually insane. Oh my god, the hat looks like a bullet now. Holy shit. I don't know what to do. How do I replace the hat with the bullet? Well, what do you, what you want? It's too late. Oh. I'm going to get shot again. No, wait. Our chance is coming up. Oh, thank you. The last split second, right? Leave it to me. Go, missile, go! Would you look at that? Oh, my God. Now's our chance. I am here in the bullet now. Let's swap. It's our only hope. There's got to be here something the same shape. The, the hat... If only I can connect them. Swap the- I'm trying! Uh, it's a little hard to connect these dots. Okay, they do not make this easy. Wait, they do. Oh my god. I feel like this is the hardest part of the game. Nope. Eh. Nope, nope. It's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get it. Oh. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. We got this. Maybe I did need to... Oh, Jesus. trying to move my joystick as slowly as I can and it still goes really fast. This is oh my god. No! No! Wait, did I just do it and it didn't work? 
so that's not it. I think I just did it. didn't work. Okay, I think I may need to go back and uh, d do the, the helmet. I think I think the helmet needs to be done. Maybe to push it at a better angle or something. Man, I can go back and try that. But if we were close. We were close. Let's just let it happen. Oh, wait, it's not letting me back out. Wait. It's actually not letting me back out, which means I'm able to do it. Oh! Nice kids, not nice at all. You put a dent in my lovely mask. I guess we better look for something softer to swap with. Yeah, yeah, I got that. All right, so now I know what to do when he's not looking. Let's do this. His face caved in. It's okay. He ended up being fine. says what was that okay phew i thought i was getting in trouble dude problem is this changes shape. Oh, it's not going to change shape because the hat will fall on the hook instead. Oh, no, it's fine. I was so close before. I just needed to knock the helmet. There it goes. Now then, inspector. Would you look at that right on the hook? I love knit hats. So warm and most of all, soft. Hey, now that I'm looking at it, it has the same shape as the helmet that was just knocked down. So, the only thing that we need to do is just wait. Go, Missile! 
and he thinks that he killed him. Okay. Uh, maybe this Sissel guy actually sucks. Looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. Now I say again, I love knit hats. So warm and most of all soft. Yeah, did I, did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. Okay, and I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. This hole is the best. What I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. All our research these past ten years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two were working together? That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back, back to our time! We have to rescue Miss Camilla! And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. Habanero's ribs and everything are still broken. <laughs> After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold in a way in a new present. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Ah, hey there, prof. We're both alive, I see. Nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion would have bothered me. Little thing like an explosion. Yeah, right, like I'm going to believe that. So what, the guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Though let's just pray the boys came through for us. Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. Well, looks like both of their deals were erased. Unfortunately, in that case of the inspector in white, I can't call it a complete success. But in any case, these two have the information I need to start tracking the manipulator. I'd better talk to them. Let's do it. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way, I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true, I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, sorry, I should- I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so helpless. He was right there, within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his, uh, spotless record. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. Oh boy! Let's talk about your spotless record first. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator cause. Case. The manipulator case? That's why you cared about your record so much? Of course. Why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Jow, shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story. Some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator is going to prove that Jowd is innocent. Alright, let's talk about... Uh... We'll talk about revenge last. 
We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication. For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communication networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast, and the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. We keep tabs on their communications and launched an inve investigation. And then, finally, we pinpointed where they were going to, to meet tonight and staked it out. That restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal but we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right, highly unlikely they'd use him for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. This is spicy. That guy mentioned revenge, revenge against the people who stole his life 10 years ago. He's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Detective Jowd, who forced me into a corner, Lynn, the girl who was playing in the park, and finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that at that kid. Ten years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But I... It's just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet. I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cavanella, got a minute? The chief wants to see you about your report. Got it. I'll be right there. You stay right there, he, right here, and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. How could you? I used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. How could you fucking do that? <laughs> Holy shit. How do you fuck up that bad? Woo! There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jowd, why didn't you help him escape from prison? Oh, that's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. 
I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself has to be executed, you know? As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. That's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could. There's one little unfortunate result. Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around. Give it time. But there are more important things to do with our time tonight. All right, now to talk to the pigeon guy. Mr. Superintendent. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard a superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner, I investigated victims' cause of death. Well, that's very helpful. Ten years ago, I was asked to, uh, to autopsy a stranger corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead, all right. No question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on him. I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. Yeah, you would think if somebody gets, like, impaled in the back by a meteorite, it would kind of leave a couple scars or something. I was completely bewildered, and but when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. And that's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. Okay. But the cat. So not only does Sissel have the evil Sissel, he came with a briefcase to set up Lynn for this whole conundrum in the first place. That's how you start the game. That means he carried the purposefully the cat in the briefcase. So that means the cat's evil? The cat knew to move his body below, like it was a setup. So the cat is a villain. The cat's evil. This is the worst plot twist of the game for me. The cat's an evil cat! Who's Ray? Who's Ray? There's one more person in this story. I got it. 
Ray is Bailey. <coughs> Checkmate. <coughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bailey all along. I knew it. I have the whole story figured out, man. And I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there is one way the corpse could have disappeared. He got up, walked out, opened the door, and walked out on its own. He was dead, but he wasn't dead. Not even that explosion could kill him. And he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Yeah. Imagine just not like feeling anything. That's gotta suck. That sucks in a lot of ways, actually. <laughs> The corpse left behind some data from testing I did. I got some readings from some kind of radiation coming off that body. I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Could it be? It was coming from that meteorite fragment. I went to that park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I suspected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation of that corpse. At that time, I thought he, it was, he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it in all in depth, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you want to see me blush? <laughs> All right, Cavanella's arrival. It was about a year ago, I'd say. Uh, this man in white came dancing into my research lab here. I think he did a little bit more than dancing. <laughs> I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Temzik. Is that you, baby? Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? I was investigating the manipulator case then, and then I heard that there was a man who'd quit the police police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that and it was like a meteor had struck me on the head. Oof. At the time, we were just getting to get starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet, but we knew that he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case and Temzik were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla.
sorry, my brain is still fixated on the uh, Ray thing. I'm just trying to figure out if, if still at this point, so like since the beginning of the game, Ray gave me like very kind of like bad person vibes. <sighs> but it has to be somebody connected to Lynn. I mean, the purpose of Ray introducing us to our powers, I believe he said that we were to save Lynn. Like, that was the whole purpose. Could it be something as a... I don't know, could it be something as touching as maybe the- maybe Ray is Alma from, like, five years ago? But how do you stay that, you know, how do you- you're not supposed to do this for five years, if that's the case. But if the purpose was to save Lynn, then it would have to be a person connected to that story. And somebody who's obviously dead. But the powers of the game could be also super funky. I wonder if it could be somebody alive, too. Because we have the power to go back four minutes before somebody dies and save them. But we don't know the extent of the powers of Ray. Okay, I need to get off that thought. <laughs> so that contraption in the basement here, you built that to try and help Detective Jowd? That's right. Jowd and I worked together back whenever I was with the Force. I reused the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce, no matter how hard I tried. Camilla told Jowd it did have- it did something it shouldn't have made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate otherwise. Oh, I thought it was manipulated again to kill Lin. Okay, so that wasn't the case. So that must mean somebody manipulated Camilla's contraption. We proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Hey, baby. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry. I just heard... You were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. And so that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw him in the slammer. Yikes. <laughs> uh, I don't know how good that saying is. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on a critical uh, on, gave out on me at a critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. Uh, but a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Jowd. The minister called off the execution order, and while he was at it, he let Detective Jowd go free until tomorrow morning too. That's a pretty extreme. While he was at it. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around and then you swoop in at the last second. Five years ago, you left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promised to give it back to you one day. Aww. His detective coat. Hee hee! Yay! Go get him, Jowd! I've been waiting so long, Detective Jowd. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for giving, not giving up on me, Lynn. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend.
This present you gave me. It's just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Hey, Jowd, before you leave, could you tell me what you know me as? My name? What's my name? Can you tell me? You didn't tell me before. You didn't finish your goddamn sentence. Why are you gone? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. We'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. This is getting spicy. It's almost dawn. I'm not... I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Aww. Each one of us, for his or her own, own, her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. <gasps> I'm about to die! I only have, like, so much... so many... uh... so... so many... so many minutes left in my life. Look at that submarine, though. Jesus. Hey, don't give Maud sass. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. This is Jowd. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We're waiting for you. Okay. Don't look at me. I hate the fourth wall being broken, bitch. Do not. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Yeah, don't ever look at me again. At the other end of the phone line, I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I'd better go. A single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel. But that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. Welcome to the Yanoa, Detective Jowd. My detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jowd. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. God, never thought I'd track us. Uh, you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, eh? How did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew where the Yanoa was going to surface. Confound it! We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man, uh, the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it.
Oh my god. These bitches. These bitches. They did that. Cabanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past, but they always prove useful. This one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. Mm, yes, Inspector Cabanella. My hero is an excellent investigator. By the way, where is the man in red? I know he's on this submarine somewhere. Ah, Cecil, you mean? Oh, he's just been here. You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Don't let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please let her go. There's something our nation needs, and Sissel has it. That's nothing all- that's all that we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear, Sissel has underestimated us. He has left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Oh my god, I thought that went up my ass. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there's no such there's no sense of depth perception so i thought that was going up <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, Jesus. anyway our, our nation has already researched it this product that sissel has to offer the source of his powers What in the world was that? The Temzik fragment, it gives spirits special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, Disk Disk, what a mistake to make, right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowl. Farewell. Look, man, I have been barely reading chat, and the one time that I look, it's, I read, Our nation has researched your anus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is so cursed. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> the whole room just vanished. Detective Jown, where did he go? regret nothing. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I smell danger and I'd better find them in fast. What is this? So, you're here, huh? It's Missile! I think even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. I just... I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. Uh, <laughs> what, what with my memory, lots of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? I'm sorry to say, I don't think I can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So, let's go find that lady detective and the, uh, the little lady together. You got it! <laughs> oh. 
The telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camilla. I just know it. My trusty nose is practically screaming it at me. I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get that phone before it stops ringing. You bet! I don't even know if I can do that, man. I like this music too much. Nope, nope. Oh! I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sizzle, look! That black hello! It came off the hook. He calls the phone a hello. I forgot he did that earlier too. It's just funny. I'd better answer it in fast. It's her, the little lady. It's Sissel, where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess you can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh good, I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me, Lynn, Lynn is... She said Lynn. Miss Lynn! We'd better hurry. Let's go, Sissel! Oh, she's drowned. Lynn is dead. Miss... Miss Camilla! Lynn! Oh, Miss poor Lynn! She can't seem to catch a break. It looks like another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy! I knew you'd come! Miss Camilla! So too. I'm so glad to see you're all right. Well, I wouldn't exactly say I'm all right. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. My voice? That's right. Camilla has a core now, so that means she did hear Missile's voice before when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. Hey, Missile, could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? Don't you need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it! Thank you, Missile. I wonder what happened this time. I better talk to the little lady once more, and then I'd better do something about the detective lady. Let's talk to Missile first. I'm sorry, I can't help right now, Sissel, but I think I'd, be I'd better stay with Miss Camilla. Now, that's all right. I think so, too. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Oh, thank you, Sissel. Could you say that again? I really like the sound of that. Uh, maybe later. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh my god. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sissy? Could you tell me what happened to you? What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Uh, let's see. After that, I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine. So she was already in the submarine by then. I thought to myself, I have to escape. The next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired, I couldn't move. And then... I was so relieved. I don't remember what happened after that. 
She must have passed out, the poor thing. Or, yeah, that was, yeah. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Lynn probably been through more than me. Yeah, you've both been brave. Aww. Eh, turn the wheel. Oh, Sissel, you're here! Lynn, what in the world happened here? I don't know. I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden, and the next thing I know, I was dead. I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Jout? Is he all right? I don't know. The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. After we left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with the radio transmitter, and Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took his boat out, out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jowd and I managed to secure, se secretly stow away on his boat, and then we sneaked onto the submarine with him when, he sur when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jowd and I decided to split up. He would take care of the telephone line, and I would look for Camilla. I found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Well, it's quite an adventure. What happened? What happened next? I don't know. Uh, there was a flash of white all of a sudden, and the next thing I know, I was dead. Oh boy, it sounds like a, it'd be quicker to see for myself. A flash of white! Oh... <sighs> Camilla, are you okay? Holy shit. Hello, Lynn. Or is it Detective Lynn now? It's been 10 years since we last met. that man from the park 10 years ago? Well, well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back! She has nothing to do with any of this! Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody Eve ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Uh, well... Knowing him, I half expected as much. That's why I was waiting here, like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted, to be executed by his own daughter? heard about 10 years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge? Nobody could possibly know what I've... What in the world? An explosion? I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been bad? Aww. Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not, you're not him. She's right, I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Jowd. As Camilla, when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Oh, well... <laughs> Look, I... Uh, don't make fun of me, chat! Anyway, let's bring you back to life again. You didn't have to add the again part. So let's see. The cause of death this time was that mysterious explosion. You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery. It's like a shot of vitamins. And what do you mean for a dead woman? 
anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. Sissel. <laughs> Minor spelling mistake. I forgot we had that one, actually. deal though if he's currently manipulating he wouldn't notice anything I do time is passing so fast funny i thought i could use the phone in the past if somebody was calling what are you talking about the receiver has to be off the hook first silly well don't look at me i can't do it i don't have any hands or feet right now somebody please answer the phone if you want something done you have to do it yourself wheel in the sky keeps on turning I have two things to turn. Let's do this one first. Hey, we man somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed, who's to say that's not how I planned it. We're about to head out. Speak up. Why don't you answer? Uh, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Um, I definitely shouldn't go there, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so it must be true what they say, that there are restless ghosts on board. I'm stuck now. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. <laughs> Who is he calling restless ghosts? That's true. Neither one of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. I guess that means the fate of this sub has changed. Wait, I was supposed to come over here? <sighs> Sissel has underestimated us bargaining chip oh no not that again the f what's going on here i saw this little deal go down once before in just a moment the man in red is about to get his temzik fragment taken away oh i don't get it what's happening they decided to conclude the deal without the other party present. They're just going to go ahead and steal the Temzik fragment. But that's... that's cheating! I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where is the Temzik fragment going to go? So I have two switches... a valve... Wait, I would get stuck if I did this. Eh. All right, lower level first. Nothing's happening.
wait. Oh no! Wait, I lost my chance. I lost my chance. It's already gone, right? Yeah, it's already gone. I could have gone up on that. That happened so fast. I wonder if I should already go back. The objective has been achieved. Now we detach the control room as planned. Farewell, sir. Look at all the people. Why is the staff just crammed below him? Don't worry, Lin. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. The, man th the main thing right now is rescuing the little lady. You and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The you know what will be his coffin. Oh, holy shit. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. All the staff shoved it, shoved into there. So that's the cause of that giant explosion. Don't tell me that's another thing that you've forgotten. The torpedo! Well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure, but a different missile comes readily to mind. It looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something before that torpedo is fired. Look, little lady, I don't know exactly what you want me to do. We can't let it launch! But what can we do? Let's just get to the torpedo as fast as we can. Maybe we can find a way to stop it. A true detective never gives up. Well, we certainly just can't ignore it. Look, man, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Um, I, I can't. I, it's, I, 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 I lost my chance because I lost, I, 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 I wasn't on the pill, and, and, and now, oh god, uh, 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 There goes the missile. Now there's really nothing we can do. Let's go. I really want to stop seeing that. Um, but aren't I stuck on his ship now? Wait a sec. All 
there. I can't tell if I'm on the meteorite or the pillbox. I think I might be in the box, though. Oh, okay, I'm up here. There's no time, it's gonna launch! We still- we can still find a way to stop it. Uh, we have to stop it from detonating. There's something we can do, I hope. Uh... Wait, what? Oh god. There's a rat! Oh my god, rat OP! I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought, but was this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How did a rat get in a torpedo? <laughs> Dude, I bet PETA has like insane issues with this game. All of this rat abuse. I think this outside part also is supposed to, uh, parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. The spinning black things, right? Apparently their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. Uh, don't ask me, I don't fucking know. Detonator. Joint operate and gyroscope. Do you know how a torpedo works? Nope, can't say I do. Wow, detectives sure know a lot. I saw it explained once in a book. On impact, the fuse in the tip is depressed. And then that in turn sets off the detonator. So how do we stop it? Uh, that, they didn't explain anything about that in the book. Detectives sure know a lot, or not. <laughs> So if I operate, uh, oh, sorry, the joint? Oh, I smushed the rat! This looks like just the thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it, it should keep it from moving. So what does that mean exactly? It means that we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand the details, but I do want to give it a try. Before we can do that, it looks like we have to get something out of the way first. Rat! It's a stubborn little thing. Quite a worthy adversary. You do know the rat isn't the main focus here, don't you? Okay, true. But until it's out of the way, we can't save uh, the safety device. If our only if, if only our missile was here right now, we have to get this little creature to leave somehow. Uh, yeah, don't fucking I don't fucking know. This is the detonator. Don't press it. <laughs> At this rate, we're going to blow up the submarine. We have to set that safety and keep the torpedo from detonating. I, I fucking know. But I can't get the rat to leave. The rat, the rat will leave. I, all I can do 
to stop the other sides. But that doesn't exactly do anything. Oh my god. Sorry, I just got scared by a thunderstorm. Oh my god, really? Now Those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. I think I'm at like zero seconds though. Oh my god, I did it. Literally in the last like millisecond. <sighs> but there's just one problem. The other torpedo, the torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Well, we want the impact to happen because that's how we get, you know, otherwise we get stuck on the ship. I mean, in the ocean. We don't want to be stuck here. Oh, it looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. It looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats. Sissel, we did it! Ah. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up, but we still opened a gaping hole in the submarine. Ah, I guess that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Am I hearing things? I guess we'd better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right, I'm worried about Camilla. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water is seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. We've got to get them out of here. I'll be I'd better go meet up with Lynn. Yep, I'm stuck in the torpedo. Can I operate any of these? Oh, we can examine the fan. Each of the three machines is equipped with a fan. Now that I take a closer look, it appears there are two sizes of fans. So there's a wheel, starter, a wheel, and a balancer. Okay. The lights went out, but this machine apparently still works. I'm a big fan. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cute. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run very long, but maybe I can use its movements to help me create a path. I'd better hurry over to Lynn. It's not safe to stay over here, and I just don't have the power to stop that water from coming in. Just letting you guys know, there is a thunderstorm happening. Uh, so if my stream cuts out at any point in time, you know what happened. Okay, so now we have a small fan fire extinguisher. Rewind four minutes before my- I'm not gonna die! Lynn. Camilla, you're awake! How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. Miss Camilla! Oh, Missile, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camilla. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sizzle should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too! 
I'm so happy everybody's going to be with me now. Camilla! She's fine. I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do! Aw, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as the case might be. I'd better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here before it's too late. Yee, the storm is approaching. Okay, I said I'd get you out of here, Camilla. But it's so dark, I can barely see. Out of ideas already, eh? I think she's asking for my help. I should send her a signal. Oh, a flashlight. It's Cecil. He's here. I'm glad you're here, Cecil. Sorry for the wait. It looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. We better get out that door as quickly as we can. We won't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What does water pressure mean? I think of it as a force of the water holding the door closed. The water level keeps high, getting higher and higher in here. So the only way up here, uh, the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Uh, let's look for a path that goes up. Look at that ladder. Hey, look at that ladder. I wonder if we can get it down somehow. Oh, by the way. I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Don't you have any good news for me? I'm actually curious. Is there anybody in this chat watching right now that cannot swim? Because I'm always baffled at the like, I always thought that swimming was like one of those skills that everybody should have. And I thought and I assumed everybody has the skill to swim. If you don't, you really need it. Wow, that's actually a lot of you. Please learn how to swim. I just feel like it, it's one of those like basic survival things that you should know how to do. Please, please learn how to swim. <laughs> Even if it's not super well, just like, it's it's like, I don't, uh, they don't teach you that in like high school because like in our high schools, we had swimming lessons for like, it was like a nine or 10 week course that we had in our gym classes that we had to like learn how to swim and stuff and we had to pass tests and stuff. But damn, that's baffling. But yeah, please learn how to swim. Yeah, my high school had a pool. We had a swim team and everything, but like my high school was pretty small. Like it wasn't the most luxurious thing, but yeah, we did, we did have a pool. Huh. I know it's a privilege. I'm just saying like still learning how to swim, I feel like is like a one of the basic things, necessities of life. <clears throat> That's very interesting, the amount of people that actually don't know how to swim. Wow. And no, it just genuinely, like, amazes me. Huh. You know how to swim, but only like a dog. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, better than nothing. Better than nothing. <laughs> but I, anyway, sorry, I was just curious. Let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? There must be a switch or something somewhere that lowers the ladder. Provided the person who designed the sub didn't miscalculate the ladder length. I didn't even consider that possibility. And I have to warn you, I can't swim. Yeah, you already told me. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. All right, open the fuse box. Move the hook. What is the hook gonna do? Oh. Oh! Okay, holy shit. It's like a waterfall outside right now. It is very um, aggressively raining right now. There we go. You did it, Sissel, thanks.
Yeah, it feels like real life is the same as in-game right now. Submarine's filling up with water. Holy shit. <laughs> it's really heavy rain. I haven't seen that in a long time. Like, looking outside my window, I basically see a waterfall of rain. Like, it's that heavy. <laughs> shit. It looks like water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Uh-oh. The flashlight doesn't work anymore! Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are bad or something. Hey, I know! You can fix it with your powers! Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Ugh. Uh, it's a rainy out there. Okay, okay, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. We're gonna die if I don't keep going. Hey, great! Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question considering the circumstances. Now, all we have to do <laughs> is get to that door and we're safe. Oh, and she threw the flashlight. Come on! supposed to get out of here now oh geez oh this is great this is a great turn of events we've turned ourselves okay that this is this is wonderful camilla is fine where is missile you're supposed to be protecting camilla What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to reel, rear up on its hind legs. I can't believe we still, we're still still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. E that's not good. The water sure is rising fast. Come on. You'll just have to go up, up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, there's Missile. Sizzle, there you are. How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous this situation is, don't you? Of course, after all, just ask anybody who knows me how much I hate taking a bath. Uh-oh, I'm getting a warning. Oh, Jesus! There's a tornado warning. On top of a thunderstorm. That seems very nice. Okay. Um, that's lovely. <sighs> The good news is the rain just died down. <laughs> that was very sudden, but yeah, uh, we'll be okay. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. I don't see any winds really though, so like, I don't know, I feel fine. Okay, ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course! All right, missile, let's do this. I don't know if that doesn't do anything. They're both the same fans. Okay. So going up, let's see where uh, Mr. Uh, Missile here can go. Oh, I can swap pipes. Pipe swap. Wait, but it actually prevents me from because you can't choose to like travel to it. That's a uh, that's kind of a weird caveat. Jesus, this is a very large puzzle. Shit. So 
So up there is, that's the end. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. So this is fan, that fan. Swap fan. I don't know why I swapped the fans. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. So, uh, we have the problem with Sissel right now. Okay, now I'm, uh, okay. There you go, thank you. I needed, I needed that. So let's see what we can do. Hi, Crystal, small fan here. Wow! Oh my God, this is stressful, dude. This is stressful. I don't know how Missile can create more of a path right now. Okay, I'm failing to uh, read though. Oh, operate, operate, yes, this. These pistons sticking out right in front of me. It's almost like they're taunting me. Maybe it's a challenge. It might just be that, think you can climb? If I wasn't holding Camilla, I could probably do it easily. Cecil! Yeah, yeah. You're not telling Miss Lynn to leave poor Miss Camilla behind, are you? <sighs> could you just be quiet for a minute, Missile? Those pistons sure do like that look like that they could be used to our advantage. the pistons thrust out is related to how large the fans are. Yeah, I already switched one out, though. Um, if you could just move these pistons so they're easier to climb, I think I could do it. All right. So, medium fan, small fan, and the large fan was up there. Got it. So you are large. I'm hoping the order doesn't matter. If not, I guess that's an easy switch. Uh-oh, it's backwards. God damn it, it matters! for me. I don't think that water is going to wait for you. Okay, that seems to be rising very unnecessarily fast. in the way. It's too hot to get through. There's no way to go around either. You think you can do something? We have to. Uh. At least this music is a banger. Um... I hate that we can get in the way of each other. Is 
thing called water. Look what it's done. Just a second ago, it was chilling me to the bone, and now it's hitting me as steam hot enough to melt a person. My boots and my coat are soaking wet. Water just pours out of them whenever I move. How dare that water treat you like that? Here, let me lip it all up for you. Hmm, it better not, Missile. It's salt water. It sounds like she's starting to get crabby. Okay, okay, I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. How is Sissel getting up? Problem number one. Sissel is, um... Sissel is stuck. this valve, I've shut off the, the steam flow to that first pipe. Alright, emergency light, pipe, got a glove. Uh, oh, okay, we can reach here to the switch to open the fuse box. Ah, the hook! Uh-oh. comes that water again. Oh, I wish I could drink it all up for you! No, Missile, it's too salty! I think the more relevant point is that he is dead, uh, so he can't drink it. <laughs> Whatever! Just do something about this steam! Leave it to me, Miss Lynn! Thanks, Missile. But wait, I'm doing all of the work. is a uh, missile ah! I don't know if this is missile was uh, sitting on something oh it's just a piston okay switch around the pipes. I just don't know how that's actually... Does that actually do... No. Oh, if I swap the pipes, it changes how the steam comes out. Oh. Horrible seam is cleared out of the way. Okay, it's not far now. I'll try to move forward. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Detective Jowd's doing okay during all this. I can't open it, hurry! Is there any way to ask for something? Oh boy. Please get this door open, I'm afraid I just can't do it! It's all up to you and your miraculous powers now! I just gotta get this door open. No use, I can't budge it. Oh 
god. This way! What in... Uh... Ray? What just happened? I can't believe my eyes. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to sink down, down into the deep, deep sea, but I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up to find a single ray of light. Ha ha ha. <laughs> they did that on purpose. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. They did that on purpose. I'm about to die. I don't have, like, barely any time left. Ah! Chapter 17! It's 5.10 in the morning. The upended submarine continues to sink, slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? It's Ray. Oh my God, that's, oh. Clever. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Um, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I see you managed to survive, detective. Excuse my appearance, I seem to have lost my body. Don't look at me. ghost who's been saving Lynn all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Sissel, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel. Oh, my name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember it really soon. Oh my god, they still won't tell me. <laughs> really? I, be I bet it's gonna be something that, like, really doesn't matter. They're just gonna be like, your name is Bob. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, you held that information from me the whole game. I'm glad to know that my name is Bob. <sighs> who are you and who am I, too? What? 
The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. We're not safe, though. Um, I'm confused. They got us good. It's all over for this submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hall, hole in the hull, and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had a deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already know what they wanted to know, what they wanted. The Temzik fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, that meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. Oh god. Um, okay, let's just go from the beginning. The radiation. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent to do his research. And I think I figured I've... I think I... And I think I've got... Kind of got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers, like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects! Exactly. Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers that we get, and it seems that these powers change as time goes by. Yeah, my powers have changed over these past ten years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what does it? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago? A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart, and I died. So, of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers, too? You know, you might be right. Poor missile. Aren't the Temzik remnants still right at the right there in the park at the bottom of the crater? That's all stuff we knew. Another effect the meteorite uh, the meteorite's radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Ugh, this is all so strange and confusing! I can't take it all in! It makes about as much sense as- oh, it makes about as much sense to me as anything else! Yeah, that's strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the, moment, between the moments that separated my life and death. Oh, that kind of explains my existence. My body's vital function stopped 10 years ago, but my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed, not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. 
So I guess as soon as an incision was made, his body was would be regenerated? Wow. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. You mean kidnapping? And it all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the exec execution order. But I thought that he might call off the execution at the last second. And that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But that, but they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Their objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Temzik. Detective Jowd was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanella and that junkyard super, they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out, was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Temzik fragment, and here I am. But they had one more final target. You. One final target. If you weren't there in the park that day ten years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay, but I was just a little kid playing in the park. Yeah, I know. Ten years later, and you'd become a detective looking into Jout's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago, so of course you didn't recognize me. Okay, but the cat. I only care about the cat. Can you explain the cat? Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to completely, uh, to able to control somebody completely. The aim was off and the first shot missed the mark. The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you would be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. Oh man, I was really hoping that Ray was a different person. But it's not. I was just hoping. But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. I was supposed to meet up with them after that, but then something went wrong. My body disappeared. The inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. That inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temzik meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jound case. They thought that you would find out about Temzik sooner or later. Okay, but the cat? And that's pretty much the whole story. 
The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush this submarine. There are no cores that link from here to the water... Uh, no cores that link from here to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up the phone line. There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for this submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these 10 years. This feeling cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Lynn? Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here? Oh, uh... If my dad... If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the controlling room, the control room? Why didn't they just steal the Temzik fragment and escape, if that's what they wanted? Why do they have to jettison your body off into the sea? That's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. I have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! Yes, we do! This will tell us where Detective Jowd is. That present from the inspector in white. That's right, Detective Jowd told me to hold it onto him. On him, on for it, onto it for him. And the bullet is still in the, this person's body, in the command room, right? Then we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. Even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure out something out between the three of us. With our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Right. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What about a torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. Looks like Detective Jowd is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Ah! Oh boy, this is so juicy. So his shell is definitely there in the command room, right? Just without the fragment. I don't know about calling it a shell. Detective Jowd's watch will tell us exactly where it is. <gasps> right. He said it was a random radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo on the submarine. If we use it, we can get to Detective Jowd. That's a brilliant plan, Detective. You think so? So, what are you gonna do, ride on top of the torpedo? Of course not! You guys are going to go! Darn, I kinda wanted to see that. <laughs> Did you want to see me drown? Damn brutal. So my dad isn't here on the submarine? Don't worry, we're gonna go get him, get him right now. I hope I didn't hurt Lynn's feelings when I said about my dad saving us if he was here. Oh, don't worry about that! Comments like that just roll off right off Miss Lynn's back. She's really thick-skinned. Ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna start being tougher too. I wanna make my dad proud of me. Miss Camilla! <laughs> I'm sure your dad is very proud of you, Camilla. <laughs> missile. Missile, missile. Oh no, not the grapes. Why is this machine shoving grapes at me? Oh, it looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes while he lies in bed. Sounds heavenly! I've been thinking about this for a while now, but don't you think that country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. It looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Uh, 
torpedo room, engine room. I guess we're supposed to go to the torpedo room. You're going to use a missile to ram the control room. I don't about I don't know about ram, but we don't want to blow Detective Jout up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room. Up is definitely safer. <laughs> it looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me! I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Okay, good luck. Uh, all right. Missile? No. Okay. Top officers, private cabin, engine room. The phone line to the engine room isn't working right now. All that water probably damaged the line. I guess I don't need to go back there anyway. Works for me. Don't question the rat. The rat's whereabouts, it's too painful to know. Here! This is a, this is a great, um, yeah. Hmm, what was the point? Oh, do I need to like... What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength, missile? Ah, uh, me? Of course I will. Count on it. <laughs> this fucking dog. No. There we go. That torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end too, but something's odd. The command room, it looks like it's slowly sinking. Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. Uh, I guess I'll find out. Right, okay, hop into the missiles. I'll launch it for you. Ah, okay, thanks. Here we go. Hopefully this one doesn't have another rat. It'll head toward the command room where Detective Jout is. 12 seconds after launching, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant, uh, that instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Well, that sounded depressing. Okay, come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry. I can't go. I just can't! How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla behind! I can't do it! I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sissel. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn! You staying here won't change our fate, but if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen, and that's our only hope. But what if that something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again, never ever again! Even I can understand that! I... I couldn't stand that! Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? 
I just know that you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. <laughs> Miss Camilla! No! That's a good boy, Missile. Oh, that was so sweet. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. That was so sweet. What the fuck? Sissel? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is, I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you. For everything. Why are you giving me, like, a death speech? I'm glad I met you, detective. But we're gonna see each other again, right, sissy? Right, Missile? That's right, we promise, little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes, then. Good luck, friend! Here we go! These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. I can't travel that far. Detective Jow. Oh, jeez. I bet that big masked man did this. I'm gonna bite him. You better not. You might break your teeth. The command room. So I wonder what this masked man is gonna do. Let's talk to Detective Jow. Okay. Oh. The core there. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. Who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. Can't believe you made it here. How about how is Camilla? And what about Lynn? It's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine, you know. How why would he uh, why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You. You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Are you? Yo me yo me yo. Yo. <laughs> I knew it. My name was gonna be just Bob. So, you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yo- Yo- Meal. Bob. <laughs> but those people on the Yanoa were calling you Sissel? That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure that there's plenty that we can still tell you, right, Detective Jow? Oh boy. <sighs> Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomer Pomeranian, you know? <laughs> Good job, Missile. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multidimensional program theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. 
It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. I can't. <laughs> to me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And, that, and then, one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took Little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Zhao, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomyo. Real motive for revenge. Ten years ago. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. Oh, this is so cool. I wanted to disappear, but I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea, an overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair, and I wanted all of you to suffer for what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know that it was like what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. The deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but... What would you get out of the deal? A new life. I asked them for the two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot, and the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth, a new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name and identity in everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't, I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. And their response in the end was betrayal. Oh boy, this just keeps going, man. They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Temzik was all about. And you had no idea that they were doing all of this. None at all. I was a fool. Why did they go through all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of Temzik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. That's what I was wondering. Okay. After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power.
By Inspector Cabanel and the old pigeon guy, eh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. It looks it just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. Uh, no, 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 not him. He's just a plain old odd person. <laughs> the recklessness of youth! That park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Temzik meteorite. And lately, under that pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy that park in order to secure the Temzik meteorite. So that's it, eh? So, the upshot of your grand deal was this. And it's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing that you must be happy about. You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Ah, makes me wonder if he is happy about that, though. Shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. What good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla that we'd save them. But we can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Let's see where it leads us. Ooh, boy! Rewind time, baby! We headed. We're not headed anywhere, detective. There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, detective. We will we will run out, and that will be our destination. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. By the way, I am not human, detective. Just rips off his head. I am a remote controlled robot detective. Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. Why would you go to all the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, detective. Possibility. What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, detective. I really have to pee, but there's just, like not a good time to go. Now it is time to say goodbye, detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, detective. Camilla, forgive me. Oh. Oof. Rough. That's rough, buddy. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what that big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small? In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning the situation around. This is the best chance I'll get to go pee, finally, after all this time. Okay, I'm sorry. I do have to go. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll be back.
feel so much better. Oh. I feel so much better. Holy shit. Phew. All right. I feel a lot better in a lot of ways, actually. All right. Let's do this. What is it, detective? Look at Yomiel's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temzik fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they are afraid of. My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Temzik. His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Temzik fragment has been taken away. Exactly. So what does that mean? Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Temzik fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. We can go back, back to four minutes before your death? But wait a minute, exactly when is that death? We'll find out. When we get there, let's move! I can revive me, wait, no, I can't revive me. That's part of the rules. Wait, but like, I am a different person. Ah, fuck, this is fuck, this is fucked. This, I can't, Never mind. Never mind. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever. And then I saw it, the final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all of the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the Twoof starts now! Oh, wait, that's it? Oh, pack it up. We're done. I was so close to the... Wait, final chapter. Oh, this is actually it. <laughs> this is actually it. When was Yomiel's death? And w it was 10 years ago when the Temzik meteorite fell. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. So, so okay, give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Ah! <laughs> now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. The cat! The cat! I can't solve in this whole thing. The cat. What does it mean? That's rough, buddy. You're all right now. Are you hurt? You saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. The 
What's your job? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temzik meteorite, eh? It's beautiful looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temzik from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. What's the matter, Detective Jowd? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. We might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. And my f if my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future! Okay, let's get started! gonna save you if Lynn would just wander off somewhere that would solve everything when her sweet potato when her sweet potato is almost ready huh, she's not gonna budge from that spot but you know it makes me wonder a little girl all alone in the park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato uh, what kind of childhood did this girl have doesn't everybody have at least one day wait why did that I didn't click that oh flame Anyway, if Lin won't spot budge from that spot, then we'll just have to have the fragment move instead. E. Basket, nozzle, nozzle, nozzle. Headphones, roasted sweet potato. What is Lynn doing? The cat. The cat. The cat. It's the cat. The cat. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt Miss Poor Liz Miss Lynn's ears. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Uh, anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Yeah, sure, I did something. Roasted sweet potato. What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even, you even forgot what a sweet potato is? It's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. Actually, it's shit. I hate sweet potatoes. They're shit. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious. These guys sure aren't making me want to try one. Look, I love all forms of potatoes except for sweet potatoes. I'm sorry. gets shoved through there. Wait. What the, what the, what the fuck? Um. Wait. No. I missed my... I tried to... Was my timing really just like a sliver off? Ugh. I like had it, man. That's some pretty spir uh, spirited water there. That's what's known as a fountain. With that much force, I bet it could lift me right into the air.
like that thing that just went floating by. I knew what to do. It's just the nozzle went off at the perfectly right, wrong, right time. Piece of shit. Sweet potato missile, that's Mino. Oh, uh, right, of course! But look at them! The potato and Mino! Right now, they both have the same shape. So you're saying that we could swap them? Good idea, missile. Okay, here I go! I'm gonna need your help! My help? Oh, timing. go. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. The lamppost is bending, but it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. I just might hold out. It just might hold out a little while longer. Which will fall first, Mino or the meteorite? Oh, Jesus. It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Uh, we have to change the fragment's path somehow. Uh, it looks like both paths and fates can be difficult things to change. There, there has to be a way. Okay, uh, I thought we'd be able to do something. Thought, that's funny. I wonder why he's using the past tense. Um, uh, because it's already fucking too late, that's why! Because the dog is smart. I was supposed to put it on the right one, not the left one. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't put it on the, oh, up. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to go on that one. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong way. We were so close. Oh my god, the grand finale. Don't even say that. Don't be saying grand finale to me, I swear to god. I gotta get missile off of it. Okay. Hopefully this big guy will, uh... Uh, help it. Okay, come on. Alright. Alright, we got this, right? Uh, what else do I do? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait now. This is fine. This is fine. Ooh. Okay, that giant sweet potato! He called it a giant sweet potato! If anything can get in the way, that ugly 
monster can. Ouch! Anyway, now the fragment's path is out to change. Now Yomiel's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? The cat. Wait, oh, it's just Jout, okay. He'll be fine, don't worry. It's his but a scratch. But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Jowd, put the gun down now! If you don't, you're gonna shoot him! I don't know if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. That is pretty badass, actually. I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! Oh, missile! The bullet is stopped in midair! I'm here, inside the bullet! Let's swap it with something! We have to prove the murder that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. I don't know what- oh, the roasted sweet potato. Lynn, you secretly saved everybody with your sweet potato nonsense. Oh god! But now I get stabbed in the back. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Just one bad thing after another. Nothing's going right. Okay. We still couldn't save him. He just gets stabbed. That's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still, this fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still turning. Yeah, we still have the cat to deal with. The cat, the, the cat. Huh, <sighs> you gotta get out of there. Missile? Damn it, my leg won't work. It's all over, we're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet! But there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we just let it play out and then try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let that happen, not if I can help it. But what can we do now, even if we work together? I don't know! What is it? What can Cicel and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this Okay, look, that is too cool. <laughs> this battle against the fate of death Yo, yo! Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. All right, I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead, though. 
In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. Remember, you'll only have a split second. Got it! Missile! Uh, what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! That hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But even if I swap them, it's still right above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. It's no use. We can't stop that horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't see any... I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Him? It just says him. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. That is so badass. Oh my god! <gasps> Holy shit! He, his back was ow, and then he ow. Oh, Jesus, ow! His legs just got crushed, by the way. He's fine. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is that you're not hurt. You saved me, mister. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. I'm a police detective. Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do a little quicker than I could. detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. Oh. That's so cute. You know what to do, little detective. Sadly. Hang on, help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. But you know, I'm glad it happened. a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? That's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured. if I take it to my house and look after it. Would you like to come home with me, little kitten?
Kitty. game this is my new favorite game <laughs> it looks like his fate just changed in a big way that kittens of course playthrough three years ago. That is insane. Oh, this is mind blowing. This is so cool. Like even if I had the suspicion of the cat, but even if I had that suspicion, this is just too funny. <laughs> Somebody, please look at me. The kitty. Oh. Oh, 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 that's so cute. Somebody, please reach out a hand to, out to me. I had just only died at the time. I had lost everything my life, my memory, and my body wouldn't move anymore, but I had still managed to reach out a hand to him. This is insane. The next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat for you, with you for a while. regained his memory I went back to being just a cat and then the man got his body back why is like I don't understand why Shutakumi is like so good at writing I just I love all these games that I'm playing that he writes <laughs> took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. 
just one more time. I have to go see my kitty cat. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world, as she left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomil. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important that he had lost along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those 10 years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing that I could do for him. For 10 years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I'd started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. This Thank you. Those past few days of watching you, my favorite YouTuber, react to my all-time favorite game. Here's to the future of more. <laughs> Thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> Jump scared everybody. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Distorted artificial light. That was a very sweet message. So thank you so much. When I got my revenge on Lin, I would see that light. Or at least, that's what I tried to believe. Hmm. <clears throat> I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. Mm. I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't have looked very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissa was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. Sissel, there, inside the bag, was dead. I wasn't able to control her completely. She shot him. That's when I lost my life, right there in the presence of Temzic radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. I guess, yeah, it had to die somehow with that kind of a reveal to have our powers in the first place. 
why I wasn't, why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But, as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I remember, now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lynn tonight. If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things that I can do. Uh, there are some things that you can do that I can't. I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But you're here ten years in the past now! That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. Now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate, and I just and I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love uh, has changed too. I believe you're right. So this was the last fate to be averted, eh? So Yomiel, it looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. And I'm glad, too. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these ten years. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Man, the beautiful power of empathy and understanding someone's feeling. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So these past ten years will now all vanish. Not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this game of the dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn's hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that either, the most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel. When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It will be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomiel? Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad that I met you. Sissel? Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet that we'll see each other some days, again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll never forget you! I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Oh, well, looks like you've come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That does, that sounds good, Detective Jowd. 
We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now we're each going back to our own new present. <sighs> we said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Wait! Before you go back to our new present, I wanted to thank you. Before I cease to exist. It is I, Ray, in case you have forgotten again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I am really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know who exactly are you? Fair enough. I'll tell you. Oh boy, oh my god. <laughs> it keeps going. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. You changed the fates of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. I actually have no idea where they're going with this. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw toward his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. The powers of the dead, but how? He didn't really understand it himself, not yet anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? That's right. He died inside the aura. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still was, wasn't anything that he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then he went back. He went back to the world of 10 years before, to the moment of the man in Red's death. Where are you going with this? He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. 
A story that has taken these 10 years to be retold. So that was you, huh? Holy shit. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait the, those ten years out. And then, at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old, and my powers were weak, so I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second, you were able to manipulate that desk lamp? Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. Why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. From watching the man in red, I found out that there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things that he could do, like travel through the telephone lines, for example. It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. Where? <laughs> from listening to the conversation of the two intruders to the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard at the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end, I tell you. That was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And then you disappeared. Away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. The only thing that you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along to the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomiel. I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. You lied to me! If that had happened, it would have been all over. Then you mean that thing is about ceasing to exist? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know completely lied. But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh boy. 
I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Since when does a dog outsmart a cat? Unrealistic. Let's call it the wisdom that comes with age. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! And now it's time to say farewell. The goodest of boys. These past 10 years will cease to exist and with them, so will I. I believed in you. I always knew that you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited and waited these 10 long years. That is very dog-like behavior. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla. Because that's what doggies do. That is true, that is what dogs do. Now then, farewell, Sissel. I made my way back to a new present. Missile. Huh? How come it's dark? I'll just turn on the lights here. the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. <laughs> ah, that's so cute. That's all right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Oh, thank you, Detective Jowd. Dad, you're home. Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges, too. Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. How long are you two gonna keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is a symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed that you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. <laughs> Throwing glasses at myself, apparently. That you will. Tell me you're that same little kitten. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. The best kind of cat. Oh my God, if I could have that. Where do I get one in real life? Can a meteorite just like fall down on the earth? He never got any bigger or anything. What a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Oh, 
My wife is alive. All right, everyone, let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. And so we meet again, Cecil. Oh, From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now, this is my new fate. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to want to curl up and watch. Oh, watch all the beautiful lives. It looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Show Takumi! Why are you so good at making games? Why are you so good at this? Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn! It isn't my birthday. Oh. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. Birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby! I need to play more Shitu Takumi games like now, but I have to wait. Oh my god, look at them. This game. This game is so good. I just want to keep playing more of this game. Oh god! Another new dance! He's gonna be a great detective like Cavanella. Oh boy. I know, I'm so excited to eventually play the Ace Attorney trilogy. I really, well, Ace Attorney, all the games, honestly, just all of them. But I'm trying to be patient and waiting. Memory, what are you doing here? I think you were going to be picking new members for the Special Investigation Unit. So you took on a part-time job here again just so you could eavesdrop? Not the feet guy, ugh. Ugh. But yeah, holy shit. Man, Great Ace Attorney became my favorite game of all time. Now this game is absolutely incredible. Definitely doesn't make my favorite game of all time, though. <laughs> Great Ace Attorney was so fucking good. The chef still making that chicken, man. <laughs> Our very best customer requested it. Now, good luck with the taste testing. I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? It's a kitty cat. Oh. Right, that guy. Seriously, this game was so good. Thank you guys for uh, pestering me to play it. I'm also very thankful that they came out with this port though, because otherwise I it would have been a lot longer until I experienced this game, that's for sure. <laughs> So, this is awesome. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said.
20 kilograms. I thought it was 20 gram. They're dead. Imagine just having money rain on you. Oh, oh yeah, more people are playing this game thanks to the port. It's definitely a great one. Cannot recommend enough. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? Oh God, the woman! I hope she had like the best sex, man. I, you know, I wish the best for this horny wife. Must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here's to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. Oh my God. She be horny, man. I bet she's still horny in this timeline too. It doesn't just go away. <laughs> this deal is quite going quite well. These grapes. My good man! Oh god, his head. Keep it together, man! I nearly just died of fright! <sighs> man. You know what? I thought at some point that I was going crazy because I was really fixated on the cat. Turns out I was very right to be fixated on the cat. That was the best thing I ever did. There goes the pigeon. Oh my god. Stop the pub from charging admission! Protect the rights! Ooh. It's hard. No, this game is so good, man. I don't know where I would place it. Man, all I know is I gotta mark it green on my games list now. Dude, I, this is the third emergency I'm getting on my phone today. This is crazy. <gasps> Bailey! Everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Nope, we are not getting tired of it. A new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations! <laughs> we do this when we have a stomach ache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. Think you could show it to me, uh, say, next week? Oh! You got it! Look at him go. He is speed, man. That's the beauty of good writing. I expect it out of, uh, oh my god. <laughs> I expect it out of Shu Takumi. Ten long years, Yomiel. Your time's up today. The young lady who always comes to visit you is awaiting outside. Thank you, Sissel. though. Man. 
This was a beautiful game. Thank you guys so much for watching another stupid playthrough. <laughs> I really appreciate it. No. Mm. Wow. I'm so impatient to like play the other games so much, but like I, I have to hold my patience. I want to play like all of the games, every single Ace Attorney one. It's so bad. But for those of you that don't know, I'm trying to make an event out of it. So the reason why there's a hold up on it is because I want to grab um, some voice actors to help me voice Ace Attorney. So that's why it's taking a while. Um, Mr. Greg Chun reached out to help me voice Ace Attorney. So that's the wait. Is uh, I think it'd be cool to give it a voice acted uh, playthrough. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. <laughs> it could make the playthrough better to have voice actors. It could have, uh, it could make it worse. I don't know, but we're just going to try it and see what happens. But it was actually Greg's idea. He approached me with the idea uh, like nine months ago now, but we couldn't do it because he just had a child, so he has life to deal with. He just got a new job and new family member, so that's the wait on Ace Attorney, for those of you wondering, is just uh, waiting for Greg, you know, he gotta, <laughs> he gotta get his new job and family together before doing more streams, so. Uh, we'll, we'll get that started whenever he is ready, but I'm in no rush. As impatient as I am to play Ace Attorney, I'm in no rush. I think it'll be worth the wait. I think getting it voice acted would be worth the wait. Because I already really struggle voicing these games. Like, The Great Ace Attorney was really hard to stream because my voice would die every day. And <laughs> it's even in my voice right now. But I, I, I would like help in voicing these games. <laughs> They are wonderful games, uh, but it is very hard to stream on a consistent daily basis with all the different voices, so having help there, I think, would be nice for everybody involved. <laughs> uh. But yeah, Cat Jam was the first. I cannot believe about my hat, dude. The kitty cat detective hat. 